Somehow winter is upon us. I don't really know how the year flew by so quick and it's already December, but here we are. And today I'm sharing some winter clothing essentials. If you live somewhere where it's a more warmer weather winter, it's a little bit more temperate, just by the pure contrast of what the weather's usually like, it feels at least a little crispy. So getting the obvious out of the way, the first thing you need is a good neutral coat. This type of coat is great if you live somewhere very cold, you need to layer under, you need the warmth of the wool, that's gonna keep you nice and toasty, like a little marshmallow, but in a stylish way. It can be in the color family of the beiges, the khakis, the camels. If you want something a little bit more lightweight, a trench coat like this could also be an amazing option. I have this one here that's in a little bit more of a raincoat material. The green is so muted, it acts as a neutral. So if you wanna do something that's outside of the traditional camel, gray, khaki, black and gray, something like this could be a great option. And then this black coat I get so much use out of, especially living in Southern California where it gets cooler, but it's definitely no Minnesota winter where my in-laws live, where it gets below zero quite often. This is definitely something to reach for if maybe your base layers are really warm and you just want something to finish it off in a very like lightweight manner. Or again, if you have a warmer weather winter, now that we've got the most practical out of the way, let's talk about our essentials that are a little bit more fun and personality driven. A leather outerwear piece specifically in black is such a great option to reach for in winter because one, keeps you very warm, two, it looks so stylish, so fabulous. It's a little bit different, it adds a fun vibe, and it also gives kind of a 90s look to any outfit. The color and silhouette is totally up to you, but I think in the winter, the trench coat just looks so cool, so chic. I would definitely recommend checking your local thrift store. One recurring theme during winter is you end up wearing a lot of neutrals. They go with everything, you mix and match. Neutrals are just very common in the cooler weather months. However, I think one essential that really can just add so much fun, add so much spice to your winter wardrobe is a pop of color coat. Do you see how fun these are and how much they pop out and they stand out? It can also be fabric, it can be print, and it's almost like a little breath of fresh air, just something fun, something different. If you're also Filipino or maybe just know a little bit about Filipino food, this is my ube coat. Obviously, you know, looks like ube, living my best hala hala life over here. I've had this one for three years. I love the purple. I got it on super sale. If you guys watched my recent thrift versus splurge versus save video, you might recognize this coat. This was my big splurge of this year. Actually my biggest splurge of my life, but it's a really fun periwinkle slash cornflower blue coat from Theory. The most gorgeous silhouette. I love this piece. And then I've got this pink one from Cezanne, which I also bought on Super Sale. And I just love the look of a fun colored coat in the winter, especially if all you've been rocking is neutrals and you just need a little revitalization, a little pop of fun in your life. Next up, a black puffer vest is one of the most perfect things to wear. If it's kind of just a crispy morning, if you just want a light layering piece, a black puffer vest is that perfect meet in the middle. A black turtleneck, she's tried, she's true, she's useful, she's so stylable. And if you're not into a darker color palette, definitely feel free to reach for and swap for a color you will wear more, but some kind of turtleneck will really carry you through winter. They're so easy to style, so easy to layer with. Next up, we have one of the most underrated winter styling items that keeps you warm, that is stylish, but it's not bulky. High quality, lightweight, knit sweaters. A merino wool, an alpaca wool, a traditional wool, some kind of wool. These are both so incredibly warm. As I mentioned, my in-laws live in Minnesota and we always visit them in the winter and it is so cold. And these lightweight but high quality knits keep me so warm. This one I, I think I've had for four years and I absolutely love it. It just keeps me nice and toasty even when it's below zero degrees. I just take one of these, pop a coat over top, maybe a scarf. If you can, it is so worth it to be able to invest into at least one of these more high quality, lightweight knit sweaters because it really does make a difference for keeping you warm versus a different material sweater that just doesn't have the same kind of warmth that the fibers in the higher quality pieces are able to maintain and hold in. And if you're not into a sweater, you can also do a cardigan or again, if it's just kind of 
cooler, but it's not like freezing. Now so far, all of these have been very kind of more elevated, a little bit more stylish, a little bit more classic. If you just want something that's cozy and warm and it's kind of like low key, but you still want to look nice, a nice knit oversized sweater is just the perfect thing to be in. Both of these I've thrifted. This one is from Ralph Lauren. I've had this one for four or five years now. It's held up beautifully. I can super easily layer under this, which keeps me nice and toasty. And then this red one is a little bit more of a fun pop of color. It's a little bit more lightweight. So I like wearing this again on a more like crispy day versus a truly cold day. Isn't it funny how just itsy bitsy tights look until you put them on and you're like, holy cow. I didn't think these were gonna fit. They fit. Now you might be thinking, Jessica, it is 12 degrees. It is eight degrees where I live. I will not be wearing a pair of sheer tights because I will freeze. Let me say, I've got a hack for you. You're gonna get a pair of nude fleece tights, nude in your skin color. You're gonna wear those underneath because the fleece is gonna keep you nice and toasty. And then you're gonna take a pair of tights that you'd like to have on the outside. Whether that's a black sheer one like this or maybe some with like little sparkles or gems or whatever your heart desires. These are my favorite tights. They're from Sheer Tex. They're incredibly durable tights that don't rip and run like your normal tights do. I love these. And you're gonna layer those over the nude fleece tights. And the nude underneath is gonna look like your skin and it's just gonna be nice and seamless, but you're gonna be warm. And there you go, a cute mini skirt outfit. Honestly though, if it's too cold, you just opt out of the mini skirts, but if it's like s medium cold, then you, you probably could get away with this. Fleece tights really keep you warm. Did you know that a lot of your body's heat escapes through your toes and your feet? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Either way you slice and dice it, it's still true. So. Cozy socks are essential. If you live somewhere with a warmer weather winter, you can get away with cozy socks like this where they're lightweight. The fabric of the socks can be anything. If you want a cute sock to wear with Birkenstocks or with boots and you just want them to peek out, these ones from Target are my favorite. Definitely like 15 to 20% for warmth and 80 to 85% for style. And then if you live somewhere and it's actually freezing outside, make sure you invest into a couple good pairs of nice cozy socks. You wanna make sure your toes and your toe beans are nice and warm and that your socks are made out of a fabric and a material that will keep your toes warm. Winding down, we've got my favorite winter clothing essential. Not only are they so effective and practical, they are also incredibly stylish. Scarves. I have like seven scarves, but a couple I wanna point out. This is a very recent purchase, but I have to show you guys why it's special. It has pockets. How cool is this? I have already found this to be so practical. I wore this to the grocery store the other day and I loved it. I just kept putting my phone in there, putting my hands in there when I was in the produce aisle. It was really nice, handy, super cute. And I will say the photo on the site of this piece does not do the colors justice. It is a true uh, seafoam green, lilac, and gray. And on the website, it looks really washed out. I also have this gorgeous snow white one from Saison that I love. It is so beautiful. Honestly, Hallmark vibes to me because this is so something that the main character in a Hallmark movie would wear with a red coat. And she'd be there and she'd be like, I'm from the city, but I'm gonna be a nice down to earth baker who's gonna sweep me off my feet and show me how great life is once I slow down. I love it. And then this one has gone with me on several trips over the years. I actually got this in a FabFitFun box like seven years ago and she's still holding on so strong. And I guess I will show you guys one more for inspiration because this one is also one of my most worn scarves, has also gone on a ton of trips with me and I really like the camel shade. It's very mix and matchable. Final thing I deem to be a winter essential, again, inspired by like me and my style in the winter, is a pop of color accessory. Same reason as all the other pop of color things. Some sort of pop of color accessory is so nice to have in the winter because it just, adds a little bit of personality or life or fun to your outfit. And again, just in winter, you wear a lot of neutrals, a lot of more simple things. So having an accessory like a purse, a hat, or maybe even a pair of shoes can really bring to life an outfit. And those are my winter clothing essentials. I wanna know down below what your essentials are. If you agree with this list, if you disagree, if you have something that you would add or replace instead, let me know below. I think I want to do a shoe roundup for winter for inspiration, but I think I'm gonna do that 
over on shorts. So make sure you are subscribed and you're keeping an eye on my shorts tab. If you haven't checked out my vlog channel yet, I'll link that below as well. I've started my vlogging era again and it's been a very fun place. You can find links for all down in the description box or you can also search Jessica Neistat on both TikTok and on Instagram. I would love to have you guys over there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all so very much. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.